Okay, today we're going to talk about product categories, specifically WooCommerce product categories widget. It's a good widget. If you see it, sticks your product categories, it puts them all in the widget. If you have a short list of categories like I do, it works just fine. But if you have a long list of categories and you're not able to break up the categories that fit in what widget and you're not able to provide a collapse and expand menu, then it can be quite difficult but what if you could do that let's take a look at this site here and look here I got a different widget that was developed specifically for this site and I broke the products up and there's a several categories in each one of these but I broke the categories up and created an expanded collapse that's just all the WooCommerce widgets products in that one Word press plugins in that one and themes in this one and that one I don't have set for expand class so we you can get this widget the widgets provide free of charge at pluginforge.com I'll leave a direct link uh, in the description of this video below but I'm just going to show you quickly how to use it and how easy it is to set up uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to want to install the plugin like we would any normal plugin. So I'm going to go add new, upload, and as of today, I submitted it to the WordPress plugin directory today too. So eventually, hopefully, it will show up there. And we're going to go to desktop, and where is that? There we go, WooCommerce product category selection. What this widget is going to allow you to do is select what categories you want to install, have included in each installation or each instance of the widget. So we're just going to install it. And we're going to activate it. And you'll immediately notice that on the left hand uh, sidebar in your admin panel, there's a new products category widget area that shows up and we're gonna click on that right now there's nothing in there just widget titles all it says and the reason why that is you got to, you have to include the widgets into your uh, widgetized area first before anything will show up in here to work with so let's go look and see what widget it installed and you'll notice here let me see where is that WooCommerce product categories selection uh, that is the new widget that you can use instead of your uh, WooCommerce product categories extension this is going to get our, our uh, widget it's going to give you a new one and it's going to be in your parents widget area you'll see right now on this store I have the WooCommerce the standard WooCommerce product categories widget that comes with it I'm going to go ahead and remove that because this is the only options it gives you is you can sh display it a little bit differently but there's no way to select categories whatsoever and there's no expand collapse menu so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that one and I'm going to go find the uh, where is that I think it's up here actually there we go product excuse me product category selection widget so let's just add that we're going to add two of them one to the primary sidebar and we'll add a second one to the primary sidebar so I can break my uh, categories up as you if you remember if you recall originally I think it's still showing here yeah I have two main categories with children underneath and pets for sale and pet supplies right now all that's all in that same widget which obviously I deleted but I haven't refreshed this page I'm gonna break it up where we'll put pets for sale in one widget pet supplies in the other all right anyhow let's go to here let's go back to the widget area and I'm gonna put pets for sale and I'm gonna have it ordered by category order the way I have them sorted in the back end rather than by category name I'm going to do a I want to do a show product count I'm going to show higher hierarchy and show expanding collapse on pets for sale 
And this one here, I'm going to put pet supplies. And again, I want it sorted by the way I have the category set in the back end rather than by name. And I'm going to show product count. I'm going to show hierarchy on that one. And I'm going to show expand collapse as well. Now, the important part is to be sure to save both of these or it would do absolutely nothing. <clears throat> and save that. So now, if you remember, originally it just stuck everything underneath one. But we're going to go correct this under the product categories widget area. And you see we have pets for sale. We'll click on it. Now all the available categories, both categories are here. I just want pets for sale. So I'm going to select that, that, that. Those right there. And that's what we're going to have in the first one. I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to come to pets for supplies or pet supplies. And we're going to select all the ones in the pet supplies. Now you don't have to. You can select. Mix them up, rearrange them, do whatever you want. You can select exactly what you want in each installation of the widget. So we're going to refresh. I forgot to save that other widget. So we're going to refresh it. I had pause for a minute refresh. And there we go. We now have pet supplies. We have all of our pet supplies in one widget. And we have all of our pets for sale in, in the other widget versus the standard WooCommerce widget that comes with your WooCommerce installation. Your products widget will only show, only allow you to show all categories, and that's it. So this way you can bust it up and also provides an expand class menu. Uh, visit uh, pluginforge.com for premium WordPress WooCommerce widgets and plugins and themes for only $10 each. You have a good day.